How are you all doing today? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Same. It's the finals. Finally, we're here at the finals, the final four. Let's get into it. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited for this, honestly. I hope you guys are too. For those of you who haven't been following, we're doing Battle of Bourbons. Best single barrel bourbon on the market. Blind tastings to get to this point. Each round we did four whiskeys, moved two ahead to the next round where they competed against the same bracket. So after six blind tastings before this, we're now here into number seven. Oh, there are some hitters. There are some serious hitters in this lineup. Um, I'm, I'm excited and I'm nervous. I, I really don't know. I really don't know what's gonna win and what, how, what's gonna happen. We'll see. It's gonna be a lot of fun either way. Let me know before we get into the video. Let me know right now what's gonna win for you. What are your top two gonna be and what's gonna come out on top after all of it? Russell's Reserve. Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof, uh, oh gosh, Henry McKenna Tenure, and Knob Creek Single Barrel Reserve. There are some incredible whiskeys here, guys. I'm telling you, this is going to be tough. Let me know right now. I don't know the order. Once again, like usual, we're going to shuffle these just so you know. I don't know the order. I only know the whiskey, so... All right, good enough. Good enough. Caps are here. I got my water. I got my results next to me. Let's go. Let's just get into it, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Let me know so far right now, of all 16 you've watched, what's your favorite bourbon? Let me know in the comments. Go. Number one. Woo! Oh, baby. Woo. It's got some serious proof. Serious proof. Um, you know, it's baking spices, it's oak, but it's not a huge amount of each. It's more alcohol burn coming through initially. Nice nose though. I mean, it's, I just said those notes that didn't sound that good, but it's, it's still a really, really nice, pleasant nose. Um, almost, almost smells to where it could be a finished whiskey. When I say that, like a, maybe like a port finish or something like that. I know that's not the case cause I know it's in this lineup, but it's like, it's got a little bit of a dustiness on it. Not like corn, not, not corn dustiness, like a cornfield, but like a, almost like a barrel, like a barrel dustiness. Like when I walk into a rick house and I smell like that barrel, old barrel, it kind of smells like that. But the age doesn't seem that high. Uh, let's give it a sip. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, baby. Holy crap. First sip of the day. That like just lit my palate up. Like, boom. Um, whew. Sorry. That was a real reaction. Like that lit my, my eyes are watering now. Um, I'm going to need another sip. I, I normally do one sip for each of these, but this has got to have another sip because I got to let the palate acclimate, man. Much better. Much better. The tongue burn was too much. Banana. Banana notes coming through. Um, the mouthfeel and finish, you know, of the whiskey in this lineup that I think might be banana, the mouthfeel and the finish is much better than it was previous tastings. I'm using the same bottle I've used for all these. You know, if it was a store pick, I'm using the same store pick, etc. Like, this is more of a creamy finish. You know, mouthfeel was great. Tops, whole mouth coating. First time through this is really impressive. Desserty with the banana qualities and a um, little bit of that, that same oak, you know, like Rick Housey oak comes through on the palate, but it's very subtle. All right, sample number two. Oh, I really had to take a deep, deep nose into that to try to try to get anything. Not much, not much coming out. I mean, after sample number one, Something really high proof, you can tell this is just a lot lower proof. A nice, I mean, nice nose. There's some baking spices there. A little bit of clove. But nothing over the top, nothing amplified. Just smells very run-of-the-mill, at least so far. Mmm. Ooh, okay. Palette. Night and day different from from the nose, at least in this in this order in this lineup. 
Cinnamon cherry, cinnamon oak, um, very fruity, like citrusy, you know, almost orange, maybe even like apple, like red apple coming through, like a cinnamon coated red apple, is that a thing? That's nice, that palette was, whew, I was expecting nothing out of that from just nosing, but palette's delicious, delicious. We're going to have to come back to that one second time through. All right, sample number three. I like the nose better on this one, actually, than I did on either one of the first two. This nose, like, just agrees with me. I don't know what this is, what, what this is, but as it opens up, like, it's not as good. When the cap was on, and I've had this with a couple of whiskeys from previous rounds, when the cap's on, it's, it's really nice when you take it off. Get that punch of just baking spices desserty qualities, but as you let it open up a little bit, it's true colors start to, start to show. Not bad. Not bad. Once again, mouthfeel finish average. Front of the palate, delicious sweetness. You know, banana, Creaminess, dessert qualities. I keep saying dessert, but it's true. Almost like a banana split to me. I, I don't know. One in three are giving me big banana notes for some reason. Why is that giving me a banana note? I, I feel like that shouldn't. Um, it's still very caramel, caramely. A little bit of like an almond note coming through, I'd say. But solid whiskey. This is a, a tough lineup already. I mean, I'd expect nothing less from the finals. All right, sample number four. I apologize, guys. I'm drinking some high-proof stuff, so if I get a little loopy or a little, a little funny, I apologize now. Oh. Oh. Huh. Well, I was describing dessert on uh, sample number three, but this is much more, much more desserty. Why did I say banana on three? Compared to this one, this is like actual banana. -y. That's not banana. That's not bananas at all. Don't don't listen to me. <laughs> don't listen to me. Compared to something banana. -y. <sighs> hmm. You know, I really like the flavor on that. Um, oak came through a, a lot on three and four. But three had like a nice, longer, longer finishing oak, I think. You know, longer finishing oak, if, that's, if that makes sense. Better mouthfeel, better finish. This, it just, again, center of the palate, it's all gone. It's all gone. In front of the palate's great, nice sweetness, but not much more after that, so... Oh, this is, this is tough. Like, this may be the hardest blind tasting I've ever done. Because I know what these are, but I, I'm not convinced I know what these are. <laughs> Just first time through, so let's take our 10 minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll take a break, let the palate rest, and we'll come back, all right? All right, making our way back down four to one, and I honestly took like a half hour. That was about a half hour I took because I had to let the pellet rest. These are all high proof things for the most part. And my pellet had like had to rest. I had to give it a chance to these things to open up. Caps were off, so let's go back into it. Things are gonna change. They always do back from four to one. Let's go. Much more astringent. Much more astringent on the nose this time. It just smells youthful for some reason. You know, when, when a whiskey can have that drastic of a change from first time through, half hour opening up in the Glen, to like that astringent, it just, I mean, is it really, is it really that high price of a whiskey? Is it really that good of a whiskey? You know, should it be, I don't know, should it be toited for how, how great it really is, you know? It, it's okay, it's just, now it's very alcohol forward, whatever this is, I, I don't know. Hope I'm not talking shit about one of my favorite whiskeys or something, but 
Not bad. It's just very, seems very, again, run of the mill on this. Mm. That was close. That was close. I almost had a bourbon same blunder. Um, yeah. It's okay. You know, it's very average. This is a $40 whiskey. Like, I would pay $35, $40 bucks for this. I would. I just would. Um, baking spices, sweetness on the front of the palate, center to back of the palate, nothing. It's just no finish, nothing lingering. Saddens me a little bit. All right, sample number three. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Again, back this way. Second time through, this is cinnamon. Cinnamon bomb. In my last episode, the the episode number six of wine tasting, when I hit that Jim Beam profile, higher proof Jim Beam profile, always gives me that cinnamon. You know, old Granite 114, Booker's, Knob Creek a lot of times. Um, recently found out Baker's. Baker's 7 gives me that cinnamon. It's coming through. Like, I'm guessing that's what it is because it's coming through. But it was the second time through. First time through, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. It smelled youthful. It smelled grainy. I, I hope you guys can see the actual struggle I'm having. Like I'm having an actual internal panic attack and struggle with choosing these whiskeys. This is very difficult. Whew. Once again, punch to the palate. Ay ay ay! Oh, mm. it tastes nice. It, it's like a cinnamon red hot hot tamale coming through. But there's definite oak presence. There's definitely a lot of baking spices. Medium mouthfeel, medium finish, but overall, really, really nice offering. All right, sample number two. This is not delivering on the nose. It's not delivering on the nose. You know, the nose has fallen short on this. Um, it, there's rye spice there because I'm getting all that sting on the nostrils, but a little bit nutty, a little bit of citrus, but it's not uh, nothing too amplified. Boy, that palate's good, though. Boy, that palate's good. I don't know. Can the palate make up for the lack of nose on that, though? Oh, that's a tough question. I love the palate. Love it. It's just so fruity, so juicy fruit. Rye spice comes through front, center, and back of the palate. You know, not a super long finish. I think this is probably lower proof compared to some of the others, but... Really nice flavor. Um, that flavor profile agrees with me. I just wish the nose was better. That's going to be the one downfall of this whiskey, whatever it is. So, uh. All right, back to sample number one. Oh, that just burned. It does. It just burned the nostrils. It's... <laughs> I don't know how to describe this, but it's like a, it's an aged banana. Now, when I say aged, I mean like an aged bourbon, but I mean banana because it's banana-y. B-A-N-A-N-A-Y. Mmm. The front and center of the palate is so freaking amazing on this. The finish takes over and it just dries me right out. I hate that. Dries me right out. What in the heck? Four and one are very similar in flavor profile for some reason. But I don't know. It's a really, really good a really good whiskey too. Really good whiskey. <laughs> Let me take again about 10 minutes. Let me find out. What's gonna what's gonna come out ahead? What's gonna come fall short? <laughs> Hang with me, we'll be right back, guys. Oh, 
this was so difficult, guys. Um, trying to decide this, I honestly was like beating myself up over this off camera. <laughs> you don't even know. Very difficult. Let's go right into it and just find out what the results are. Sample number two is what came in fourth place. So I got my results from the beautiful Mrs. Bourbon Saint. Thank you, honey. Um, number two, Henry McKenna. Not surprised. Good whiskey. You know, fared better last round, but we're, we're, we're going against some serious bruisers in this round. Serious bruisers. Couldn't, it couldn't hold up. It couldn't. Second half of the palette just fell off, fell short, you know. Good stuff. Good stuff, and buy it at 40 or less if you can. You know, I, it's been a lot of hype about these bottles, but it's, most bottles I find, I find two that are average and one that's good, like, like pretty good. So that's what I find. Two are average, one is good. So I got a third, a 33% chance of, of getting a good one. So sample number or number three in my order was sample number four. Oh, this is so stressful. This is so freaking stressful. Russell's Reserve. No! I shouldn't say no. It's blind. Like that's what happens. It's blind. Um. It is what it is. Like, it is what it is. Russell's, okay. Keep in mind, again, these are all single barrels. This is single barrel. It could vary from pick to pick. I've had a lot of Russell's that are far better than this Russell's pick. So if I had put in a, one of the honey barrel Russell's I have, it would have blown it away. That's why I tried to include something that was average. You know, not average, but closest to, like, a normal Russell's you'd find off the shelf. So, a phenomenal whiskey. It's the third best whiskey out of 16. Always buy Russell picks if you can, especially at $55. $55, $60, bucks, the variation you're going to get out of these bottles, um, it's endless. Just depending on where they age it, it's it can make all the difference. So, Oh my gosh, two left. <laughs> two left. All right, number two. This is like, this is physically hurting me inside. I'm hurting because I don't, I don't want to... Let me reveal the number one. The number one, because you guys want to know the number one. Sample number one is our number one pick. <laughs> the winner of the 2020 Battle of the Bourbons, best single barrel bourbon on the market is Knob Creek Single Barrel Reserve. Wow. Wow. That means number two was Jack Daniel Single Barrel. You're not going to go wrong with either of these. These are both wonderful whiskeys. Um, wonderful whiskeys. So freaking good. Um, I got, I just got more of amplified notes, amplified bourbon notes in the Single Barrel Reserve. That's why I chose it. Again, I've, I've said this last episode or a couple episodes ago, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, one of the best, one of the best at its price point. You know, it's one of the most underrated whiskeys out there. Nobody talks about it in the Barrel Proof category. This is going to score very high in our Barrel Proof Blind Battle of the Bourbons, you know, coming up soon, I'm sure, because it's just a wonderful whiskey. Number two for best single barrel? Come on. Come on. Um... <laughs> What a what a showdown, what a head-to-head, -head, what a series. Thank you all. Like, every one of you who watched the series and you followed along, you have no idea how much it means to me. Um, the, the series has done really well, and it, I really appreciate it. You know, it shows you guys like what I like. You know, you like doing blind, you like watching blind tastings. You like doing blind tastings yourself, probably. So, please do let me know if you want to see a, a barrel proof. Um, I mean, I'm open to doing, like, a bottle and bond one. Your best small batch, I mean, your best 90 proof, best 100 proof, whatever. Whatever you guys want to see, you know, I'll bring it. So, 2020, my resolution was to do more blind tastings, and I think I'm hitting that goal already. So, I want to keep the, keep the ball rolling. So, if you're enjoying the series, please do hit that like button, and please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. I'm doing live streams every Wednesday night, and um, if you hit the bell notification, YouTube should tell you when I go live. It would mean a lot to me. 
Um, just, I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. Each and every one of you who watch this channel. All my patrons, thank you so much for all your support. It's the best way to support the channel. You know, you guys are, are doing me such a, a favor and a service for, for supporting the channel, helping me do things like this, get the bottles to do this, take trips to Kentucky, do our distillery series, things like that. Um, it means a lot. And I'm going to keep bringing it. I'm going to keep bringing it. One last thing I want to mention is my new website. I've got merchandise, challenge coins. My batch three challenge coins should probably be out at this point when this comes out. So check those out. Thank you all for being here today. Um, stay tuned. A lot of really, really cool stuff coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun. Appreciate you all hanging out, enjoying the series. Stay insane, everyone. Better drink water at this point. <laughs>